Hey family, welcome, welcome, welcome back. So we are back again with another video. And of course, my videos are excited as always good food. Today, we're doing something special again. There's always something good on the menu. Today, we're gonna do some stew fish, right? Some stew stepper. And um, this is my ingredients. So, but today I'm doing it a little different. I'm not making any rice. I'm gonna do some boiled dumplings. So this is my dumpling. I already kneaded up the dumpling and made it. I'll show you how to do that in another video. This is my um, snapper that I already pre-seasoned, you know. So I have some carrots, some okra, some green bananas that we're gonna be using. This is some sweet potato. I don't know if you guys have ever used it. It's very good. I'm gonna show you how you cook it. This is some yellow yam. You know, this is very good. Also, I'll show you how to make this. You know, the onions, uh, the all spices, the thyme, the scotch bonnet pepper, and all the dry seasonings, and my shrimp, a little garlic. All right, so this is an exciting video for me because this is different, something I get to show you guys, especially if you've never had it. I want you guys to try it. It's really yummy. So let's get right into the video. Alright guys, I'm just gonna place one of these well-seasoned fish into the oil that we have going. I'm gonna let it fry. It's probably about four to five minutes. I'll see you back in about four to five minutes so we're about to turn the thing. Alright guys, so now we're just gonna turn the fish. We're about four minutes. And we're gonna be careful. Boiling over here. This is where I'm gonna add the dumpling, the yam, the green bananas, all the provisions. We're gonna add all of that to it. I'll see you back in five minutes, and I'm gonna do the fish and add the, the dumplings and stuff into the water. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna just cut up this yam. So I just wanna show you how you cut up the yam. First of all, when you're looking for yam, always look for the one with the little hair sticking out of it. That's the good one. A good friend from Jamaica taught me that. And ever since then, I've been following that method and it really works. So, you're just going to cut all the brown parts off the skin. Alright, and you just want to set it in some cold water. I'm gonna let it sit there. You wanna get this peeled really fast and put it in some cold water because it tends to turn color. So even if it gets a little darker, doesn't mean that it's bad, you know? You just gotta cut it off, cut the dark part off and start all over again, put it in some water. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna cut these up and get it in the water. Right there, so now the water has come to a boil. So what you want to do, you want to add a little oil to it. And this is to prevent your dumplings from turning dark because sometimes with adding these yams and bananas, it can turn the water into a darker color if you don't put some oil in it. So anyway, we're adding the yam to it. This is what it looks like after I peel it. So this is that color I was telling you about. So you know, we just want to get it in there. Alright, so now I'm going to peel the bananas and I'm going to put it in there and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, 
people. You just wanna wash your bananas. And the reason why I do this, because I tend to cook it with the skin. It's easier for me to take it off like that. You know, I don't really like peeling it. It takes too long to peel. So this is faster. So make sure you wash your bananas properly before you put it in a pot. This is very important. As you rinse the banana off, you want to cut the top, you want to cut the bottom, then you want to put like a slice right through the crease, just one little slice, and after that we're going to drop it in the pot. Alright guys, so we're just going to add this one in the pot. I have like seven bananas, so I'm not going to show you all of them that I'm doing. So I'll just show you a, a, you know, a little example of what I'm doing. So I'll do one more and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so we're just rinsing it off. Like I said, you want to cut the top. You want to cut the bottom. Just a little tip. You want to put a line right through the crease. And then you're just going to drop it right in the pot. Alright, so I'm going to continue to do these other ones. We'll see you after. All right, guys, this is a sweet potato. So just cut it up. And I'm going to put it in the pot of water. And let this boil also. All right, guys, so now we're at the point now we're making the dumplings. So I have that pot preheating. You can put it all in the same pot, but I didn't use the big pot, so I have to put them in separate pots. So you just want to break a piece like you saw me do. You want to roll it. You just want to roll it in your hand. And after that, you just want to give it like a little press. And you just want to press into it. And that's your dumpling right here. Okay, just going to place it in the pot. Get another piece. Okay, so you just want to roll it. And you just want to roll it up in your hand. Make like a little ball. And you just want to press into it. You know, with the back of your, your hand. Just want to press into it a little. And this is your dumpling. Let's start with it. It won't have to be all perfect, but that's what it's supposed to look like. And another piece. We're just going to keep doing this until we get all that flour, all of this, in the pot. All right, so see you back when I'm done. All right, guys, so now I put all the dumplings. I made all of them. I put them in the pot. So this is very important. So once you put them in, you want to make sure you get, like, a spoon. You want to make sure you lift all of them. Make sure it's not sticking to each other or sticking to the pot. So you add, like, a little bit of oil to it, to the water. And that's what I did, you know. So this is what it looks like. So you're gonna let this cook for probably about uh, probably about 40 minutes. All right. So we're just gonna cover this. We're gonna let that cook. This is what the green banana look like now, and the other stuff that we have going in here. So you see how it's split open, you know. So once it's cooked, it's easy for me to peel the skin off. You'll see. All right, so we're going to cover this. going to let that cook for another half hour. All right. So I'll see you back when I'm ready to stew down the fish. So, people, so now we are back. So now we're going to add some garlic to the pot. All right, so... I'm going to add another garlic to this, get the garlic going, and kind of spice this up so it can smell really, really good, taste really, really good. Alright, so you add your garlic to that. You want to let that cook down for a little bit. 
All right, probably about like a, uh, like a quick minute, or close to a minute. All right, while that's going, we're gonna add the thyme, some onions, and the allspice season. All right, so we're gonna throw that in there for a minute. Ready. All right, so you want to get that going in there. I'm going to turn up the fire on high heat. All right, I'm going to spin back and get that going. Now that's happening, we want to add our fresh wine and pepper. This is optional. If you're a type of person who can't take heat, don't put any heat in there. I'm going to go ahead and add our diced tomatoes that I did. And I'm going to spin everything in there. As you not know, it smells good. Huh. Hopefully one day, when my subscribers are up, you know, and I have like a nice big platform. I could do a big cook out and invite, you know, my most loyal subscribers. That would be fun, right? <laughs> Nevertheless, thanks for coming in the future. Share my videos. Make sure you like, subscribe. Leave me a comment if you like that idea. And let's make it happen. Make sure you turn on your post notification bell. So when my videos come out, you can see it. I had somebody the other day ask me, you know, what am I putting out a, another video? And I'm like, our video is out. So turn your post notification bell on so you can get my videos. So I can teach you guys how to cook. Alright, so let that go. And it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. So while that's going, I want to add my shrimp, because I want to cut this down a little bit more to get some flavor in it. Okay, so we got to steam it in the pot. And I tell you, it smells good, guys. We have no idea. We have no idea. So I'm gonna let you cook down for a little bit. At this point, I am going to add my okra and my carrot. So you want to get that cooking also. Some of the, I guess we're making some stew snapper. Now we add in a little shrimp and all the goodness to it in the background. Alright, so we just cook that for like a good three minutes. And we'll be back to add the bell pepper. Alright guys, so I had put some scallop in the pressure cooker. You know, just so it could cook out a little bit. This is what it did. It made its own water. I didn't add any water to it. Alright, so we're just gonna take that out. Alright, and we're gonna add that to what we're making. Alright, so I'm just getting all of it out. And all this goodness in there. Take the pieces 
You can add as many and as much seasoning as you want. Okay, now we are doing the onion powder. some small paprika to this. Not a lot, just to give it a little flavor. We want to add some Jamaican Grace Brown into this. This is what's going to help us to get that brown gravy color that we're looking for. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead spin all of this up. See that color is coming. This is the color we're looking for. See that? It smells so good, guys. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna add a little water to this. Gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add some fish seasoning. Open it. I'm gonna dump it all in there. Okay, and we just wanna spin this. Guys, you see how it's looking? You see that? Oh my gosh, guys. I wish you could smell this. I wish you could smell this. It smells delicious. Alright, so you're just gonna put your heat, your fire on low heat now at this point. I want to go ahead, we're going to add our fish. And you want to do as you add your fish. You just want to base it. Give it a little of that liquid. And it can steam in it. I'm 
base it. Put all that liquid on it so it can steam down. All right, so we're just gonna continue this process and let it steam down. So I'll see you when it's all done. Okay guys, so now I place put all the fish in the pot. This is what it looks like. You see how good that looks? I'm just gonna place two scotch bonnet pepper right on the top. Uh, just to give it like a little more flavor in the pot. I'm gonna let this steam down for probably about five minutes. Just to let all that gravy get into the fish, let it steam in. And when we're back, we're ready to plate this so you can see what it looks like. Guys, it smells so good. <laughs> so good okay guys okay 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 so now we are done this is what it looks like oh my god this is, wow. this is the yam the sweet um sweet potato that's the green banana this is the dumplings that i made you see the shrimp you see everything with a little pineapple juice. Alright guys, so I hope you like this video. I really hope you get to try this recipe. It is delicious. I am going to eat it now and go relax myself. Um, please remember to share this video. Like this video. make uh, Leave a comment. Turn on your post notification bell. You know, let me know how you're doing. Come a part of the family. Um, subscribe, stop by, share. <laughs> See you later. God bless.